Jayco Quest Model 256D here at Haled RV of Coldwater, Michigan. The Quest was a short-lived name from Jayco, although the trailer does still live today just under a different name. Uh, this essentially represented the um, you know budget-friendly segment of the Jayco market, something that was still very well built but just didn't have all the uh, extra upgrade and flash. Just, just a camper, not an RV, if that makes sense. All in all, real good shape. I don't really see where there's been any sort of leaks or anything. Everything I can see looks like it still works pretty darn well. Pretty typical of a used Jayco to hold up like this. They are a, a very well-respected brand for a reason, obviously. Um, I'm seeing a couple little dents on the rear wall. Indicates that they probably had uh, a bike rack on the back there at some point, and that's very common. Apparently they owned a Cherokee RV at some point, or they bought a Cherokee slip cover for their wheel. Big awning on this thing, too. Look at this awning. This is like 20, 22 feet. It's uh, really large and has an old school center support in it as well. Very nice. I do like that the awning does cover both doors. Now they had a screen room on here at some point, and I can tell because it has these little silver snap clip jobs here. You'll see those from time to time. That's a dead giveaway that they used to put a screen room on here. This is a locally owned, locally maintained, locally traded camper. Uh, originally purchased right here in Coldwater, Michigan years and years ago. Very cute rear kitchen little couples camper. Let me back up a little bit here, give you the whole view of her. Very simple. You know, if you're looking for something that's inexpensive, something that's looking to be your very first trailer, something to get you started, this would be a very good way to go. It's it's only 5,300 pounds, so uh, it's not going to be difficult to tell whatsoever. You're not going to have trouble with this one. Even a, a well-equipped SUV could handle this, and pretty much any common stock pickup can get you there. I do like all the pantry space here, and I was kind of giggling. They uh, they even they had these things all labeled first shelf, second shelf, canned good, box good, sauces, you know. They had, they, they had this thing organized down to a T. And that's probably why this is still in such good shape, because they were hyper-organized, which generally means people stay vigilant about their upkeep and maintenance. Um, you know, good drawer space, good cabinet space. Every ounce of this thing opens right up for storage. I, I even spotted that old-school tote down there, which is something that is actually starting to make a comeback in recent years. I did notice a slight discoloration on this floor, and at first I was like, uh-oh, what are we getting into here? But... It is not soft. It is not damaged in any way, shape, or form. My guess is somebody left the door open and it rained a little bit. It's there. It's not a problem. I mean, I, I'm a 200-pound guy, and I just stomped it like a wrestler, and it's fine. Um, upper cabinets here are taller than a lot of common cabinets, and these are shelved for double the space. So although just standing back here, it doesn't look like a big kitchen, there is a ton of storage in just the kitchen space back here. Um, I do want to mention the original microwave has been swapped out. This is just a common off-the-shelf Walmart uh, microwave, but you know what? It's actually really the exact same thing. The only difference between this and an RV microwave is that an RV microwave has some very expensive little trim that helps you uh, fit it in here. There's nothing wrong with that. That works exactly the same way, so that just doesn't bother me. Um, sofa slide out right here. This has a little sofa mini slide, but that little mini slide makes a big, big difference in floor space because somebody can sit at that sofa and other people can still walk through the trailer and not trip over one another the entire time. See, we have more cabinet space above that sofa and you can see those are actually pretty big, deep cabinets. At some point, somebody has swapped out uh, some shades for these cool little roll-down shades. That's neat to see. Uh, they might have made those themselves looking at them. I don't know. Eh, they're cute either way. Central air and central heat, by the way. So again, good spring, summer, fall camper. Um, corner up here, entertainment center. This was made before flat screens dominated the camping industry. Um, huge, huge closet over here. And that is one of my favorite things about this floor plan. This has so much storage. This has a huge closet going on right here. Nice and wide open. You, it's tall enough you could still put like rooms and things in there. Even get a couple extra little utility drawers down here. And notice that a couple of the drawers do kind of buckle down a little bit from use. Most of them don't. That is, I mean, as far as uh, an aged camper, this thing has held up amazingly well, which indicates it's just been amazingly well maintained. And a true walk-around bed. Lots of walk-around spaces you can see right here, so it is easy to get around. Both sides of the bed do have stands with power outlets. So folks who have alarm clocks and phone chargers and CPAP machines, you are all set. Second entry door straight to the bedroom, by the way. You do have cross breeze windows here. First timers have never camped. You don't even understand how nice of a feature that is. And notice too that these are jowlessing windows. They flip open. The whole window pane tilts open. You can leave them open in the rain. That's a good thing. 
Uh, pretty common bathroom, but effective. You know, bathroom doesn't have to be fancy. It's just got to work. And this one gets the job done. You know, you don't need anything more than, oh, hey, how you doing? Josh Winters, Haywood RV. Take, have, have a good day. Anyway, give us a call. 800-256-5196. Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care. Stay safe. Happy camping.